Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 49. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, or that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking part in the Super License or the S License. This is going to be really fun to do because these are all, again, like Super Licenses have always been, are one lap battles. So first off is Apricot Hill, Willow Springs, Silverstone, Brands Hatch, and then the Ascari Track. Ascari Track is with a Veyron. Really excited for that one. But let's go to Apricot Hill Raceway first of all. Um, so tips say one of the key challenges when tackling the Apricot Hill Raceway is to string together a clean run around the first half of the track, which is the sweeping section. Uh, first two corners can be attacked at full speed. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to take that on board uh, and swift steering through the S-Bends. That's understandable. Uh, so we're aiming for 1 minute and 51 seconds for this one. Right, here we go. Toyota GT86 around Apricot Hill Raceway. Let's do this. So apparently, again, first two corners can be taken at full speed. I mean, with the speed that this car goes at anyways, I feel like that's easy to believe. That was not at full speed. Nice. Right, here comes a long sweeping corner. That is very good round there. So we have a minute left to get around the rest of the track, which is now 50 seconds. Awesome. Oh, this corner's tight. No! Right, here we go. Toyota GT86. 1 minute 51 seconds. Let's go. Right, first corner we're going to try and attack at full speed. Okay, we can't do that. That was very close to the cones on the inside there. That was very good out of that corner. Very late on the brakes there, jeez. Right, we have 40 seconds left. I have a feeling we're not gonna finish this on the one minute 51. It is a possibility, but not one I have very high hopes for. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. We've done it. Yes! 1 minute 50.061. That is a gold medal for that one. 
awesome. That is very nice. Very good. Okay. Apricot Hill Raceway has been passed. Wasn't the first attempt. But it was a good attempt. And it was the first one I actually finished the attempt on. Uh, so next one is a really horrible looking Alfa Romeo. Uh, going around the Willow Springs racetrack. So the tips that they give us is how to handle tricky accelerator control required through medium speed corners here will be crucial. Uh, you can't simply keep putting the pedal to the floor after each one. You need to master partial accelerator pressure in order to succeed. Final corner tightens up significantly towards the end, so beware of understeer. Yes, we know that. So, 1 minute and 28.8 seconds for this one. Right. Let's do this. Another added challenge is apparently this is at night time. Okay, this is going to be tricky. I may go quiet every so often. Perfect. Now this corner is the one we always have to watch out for. Perfect. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 25, 26, 27, 28. No way. We got gold. First try. Nice. 1 minute 28.632. That was about 0 0.14 seconds. No, 1 6. 0 0.16 seconds faster. Nice. There we go. That is the Willow Springs race passed. That was a very good lap time. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that lap time. I will take that. Uh, next up is Silverstone with the KTM Crossbow. This is one lap again. 57.8 seconds. Um, the way to handle the numerous small corners on this track is to brake hard immediately before each, before each one. Turn swiftly and then reapply the accelerator as quickly as you can. In other words, to adopt what is known in racing circles as a slow in, fast out approach. Yes, that is fair enough. There's no speed needed to be made in these corners. Right, KTM crossbow, let's do this. I'm not actually very confident on the stow circuit of Silverstone. Crap, there are cones everywhere, okay. Uh, we may have to change our camera angle because I can't actually see where the corners of the car are. Perfect. I'm pretty sure this circuit as well was not designed for... Uh, big cars like this. Awesome. We got the gold medal as well for that one. That was a tricky track to get round though. That was very difficult. So, <laughs> awesome. I wasn't actually expecting to get a gold uh, first try with that because obviously Stowe's a very difficult circuit. 
well, not a difficult circuit, but like new to me. So I was expecting that to be more difficult to get used to, is what I meant to say. Uh, but next up is the Lamborghini Aventador around the Brands Hatch circuit. Uh, so the car used for this challenge is a high powered, but also something of a heavyweight. You'll need to brake nice and early for each corner in order to avoid overshooting. Yes, you also need to be wary of understeer in the la later high speed sections, which is that square section there. Uh, focus on finding a good driving line and carefully controlling your speed. One minute, 36 seconds. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Lamborghini Aventador around Brands Hatch. Go, go, go. This is a very heavy car, so we need to uh, watch out and make sure we don't overshoot anything. Perfect. I do love this track so much. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Do, 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 do. That song's a classic. Trying to get around some of these corners is like, I don't know, wrestling a bear. Perfect. Thirty one, thirty yeah, we're not getting gold for this flat. Not even getting silver. Unbelievable. 138 for that. Okay. We'll try again then. Uh, I'll try changing the camera angle as well. Give us a little bit of an advantage. Attempt number eight. How many more attempts are we going to do? I think this will be the last one. Whatever we get from this result is going to be the result. This is not easy though. Nice. No, no, no. Right. Attempt number ten. This is it. This is the one. If it doesn't go well, well, tough shit. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice.
Perfect. Please do not mess this corner up again. I've messed this corner up four times now. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Ah, so close. I will right, we'll take it. Silver, we'll take it. Oh, that was crazy. The amount of attempts that I took to just even get a silver. We didn't even get the gold. Just to get a silver, the amount of attempts that I took was ridiculous. So ridiculous, I can't even speak. And that doesn't give me high hopes for the Bugatti Veyron one. But hopefully we can do it all right. Uh, in certain circumstances, it may be a good idea to strengthen the traction control. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, I feel like for the Veyron, we're going to need traction control set in three, two minutes and 18 seconds. Right, we are in the Bugatti Veyron. Oh, crap. Why does it feel so heavy in this game? This is so cool though. This is the, obviously the uh, completely retextured Veyron. Okay. There's a little bit of sideways glide here. It's like the uh, car has like special wheels that can go sideways. I like how this track as well doesn't have the cones. I'm guessing when they designed the track, they found it nearly impossible to actually set a time with cones. This track was not designed to have a massive Bugatti Veyron going around it. It was designed for a small Ascari, which is like an 800 kilogram car. Awesome. Nice. That's very good. No, 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 no! Right, attempt number two with the Bugatti Veyron. This is a uh, big Chungus car. I'm not having much luck actually wrestling this massive vehicle around the Ascari track. The car is like, yeah, no, this isn't my track. Do you know one car that I wish that they could bring to um, Gran Turismo 7 when that comes out is the Gumper Apollo. I mean, how sick would that be to drive the Gumper Apollo? The Bugatti Veyron is officially the weirdest sounding car ever in Gran Turismo. Any other game, it sounds fine. It sounds like a muscly car. In this, it just sounds like a screeching cat or something like that.
Perfect. Right, we need to watch out for... Uh, it's not this corner that we need to watch out. It's the next one. This is the really blind corner. At least that didn't catch me out then. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Bronze medal. You know what? For today, we'll take that. I'll obviously gold that later, but for now, I think that's a good achievement. So, we're going to take that bronze trophy... Stick it on our trophy cabinet that doesn't exist and enjoy and bask in the sunlight that it shines. Oh, look. Oh, that's a nice shiny one. S license. We can now take part in the S class events. And this is going to be exciting, actually, to see what these events are. Because I have not seen. I have not seen these events. Okay. Willow Spring 20 mile, Apricot Hill 20 minute, Suzuka 10 lap, Brands Hatch 15 lap, Nurburgring 24 minute, Spa 24 minute, Ascari Race 10 lap, not looking forward to that, Silverstone 10 lap, and 24 minutes of Le Mans. And we've got Mission Races as well. That's going to be exciting. Right, so what we are going to do today is we're going to take part in the first race, which is going to be the Willow Spring 20 Mile Challenge. Um, obviously, this is quite a short race, apparently. Um, so we're going to be doing this. This uh, requires us to take a normal car, and I feel like taking a Jaguar XKRS. Uh, we put a supercharger in it, put uh, a load of upgrades, so it is now doing 575 performance points and 726 brake horsepower. And if we come first, we actually earn ourselves a nice paycheck of 80,000 credits for this one. Which is understandable, because this is an endurance race. Or this is the endurance series, which isn't very endurance-like. Uh, we have two Veyrons in this race. Uh, Vipers, Gallardos, R8s, Corvettes, Stingrays, V12, Vantage, and an Aventador. Let's do this. Right, here we go. Jaguar time. Oh, that Jaguar looks really nice. I'm really excited to actually, like, properly drive this. Hang on. Bugatti. No way. This is the coolest thing ever. We have the uh, damage is on. Uh, so fuel runs out So we're gonna have to pit at some point in this race Come on out of my way No way, the fuel goes so quick. This is ridiculous. Right, come on. That is lap number one done. I do not like the fact that our tyres wear out so quick, though. And the fact that I'm a very aggressive driver um, probably isn't helping with the situation at all.
look how close we got to that uh, Corvette there. So we are aiming for two cars to be overtaken per lap. And we're also aiming for only one pit stop then. Right, let's go, let's go. I think we'll be going in for tyres and maybe uh, add in half a tank of fuel. I mean, I don't see... The one thing I want to see in the new Gran Turismo is more sort of like variation because uh, the only sort of category for this race here is just normal car. But I can tell you now a Bugatti Veyron, a Lamborghini, they are not normal cars. Right, so after this lap, we are going to have to um, pit in for fuel and tyres. Awesome. It would be pretty cool for our first, like, long race to get first place. I have a feeling that's going to be a big push with the fact that first place is a Bugatti Veyron. Right, um... We're coming into the pits now. I don't know how I have enough grip on that uh, inside tyre there. Right, in we go. Right, what are we going for? What are we going for? What are we going for? Uh, sports softs, and we're going for... I don't know, 50 litres? Okay. And now we're going. Right, so that Bugatti Veyron has actually taken the pits now. Come on then. Hopefully most of the rest of the cars are going to start pitting in as well.
Here we go, nice. Oh, we're getting lag spikes. I think that means there's a load of cars going in the pits. Oh yeah, it's lagging like crazy. There must be more cars waiting to pit then. And I wonder how testers work in this game. Can you just pull up and into the pits and be like, yeah, I'm going to fill up with electricity in one go. Just pour liquid electricity into my car, please. Thank you. Okay, that front inside tyre is worn down much quicker than I was expecting. So, um... We're going to have to calm it down a little bit, I think. Perfect. There's got to be more cars going into the pits. We're on lap seven. Even bigger problem. Look at my fuel! have to start with fuel saving tactics. I'm genuinely going to run out of fuel and I can't pit again. Do not. We are so close to the finish and all the other cars have actually pitted now, which is interesting. I think I'm gonna have to do like the rest of this race with lag spikes. I need a much higher gear than I want it to be. You know what? I'm pushing it for this one. Oh, uh, we're going to come out with a second place finish. No, I'm not coming out with a third place. Or a fourth. Oh, man.
minutes wasted. <laughs> you gotta be joking me. <laughs> that's the sound of a man that's died inside. <laughs> oh my days. I'm gonna be reattempting this right away. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you